this is 2 mm catfish food. It is scratching. Let me feed. You see my fish? My fish are doing well. I have 1,000 pieces of catfish and I want to take them to an average weight of 4.5 kg. That is, with these 1,000 pieces of catfish, I want to harvest 4 tons of catfish in the next 10 months. So, I have a budget of 385 bags for them and they are on their fifth bag now. I got them at Jumbo. Jumbo is uh, something after Juvenile, a little bit bigger than Juvenile, and they are well sorted. 1,000 pieces heteroclerous. So in this pond, this is an example of an 18 pond. The pond measures 10 meters by 10 meters, and the depth is 1.7 meters. So the capacity of this pond is four tons. That is, if you have 4,000 pieces of fish and each of the fish is weighing one kg, this pond can house them conveniently. So a pond's capacity is measured in terms of the live weight of catfish that it can house conveniently. So I have 1,000 and I want to take them to an average weight of 4.5. So I'm expecting to harvest four tons given that I have a mortality nothing less than 12 percent that is if I lose about 120 pieces of this fish and I have 880 pieces left that 880 pieces if they consume my budgeted fish food which is 385 bags they will still give me the four tons that I'm after because I know the FCR of this fish food that I'm using the FCR is 1.4. FCR means feed conversion ratio and it is the conventional way of measuring the efficiency of livestock production. The value is gotten by input, the weight of your input feed divided by the weight gain of the animal. So that is how we come about 1.4. That 1.4 means you need about 1,400 grams of fish food in the right proportion to produce one kilogram of catfish. That is, you need 1.4 kg of fish food in the right proportion to produce one kg of catfish weight. And this is a very good example of an 18 pond. We don't need to change water. There is a pipe that brings in water. Ponds like this are best constructed in a waterlogged environment. A waterlogged environment means a place where you do a little bit of digging and water start coming from the soil. You have no need of digging a bowl or running a bowl. So water is gotten at zero cost because there is a stream that feeds this pond with water anytime the water is needed. Fresh water gushing out from the ground. So I'm still feeding them. I still have about 380 bags of catfish feeds to go. I'm on the fifth bag. A bag measures 15 kg and my budget is 385. So 385 multiplied by 15, that is 5,775 kilograms of fish food that I budgeted for this fish food. And you know, the average cost of one bag of commercial fish food, it's around 24,500. Why the average cost of one kg of commercial fish food is around 1,600. So do your math. You know what it takes to produce four tons of catfish. Currently in my area, if you have fish, one fish weighing four kg or 4.5, it is not lesser than 3,000 naira per kilogram. That is, a four kg fish in the market goes for about 12,000 naira. So imagine, so every fish in this pond I'm targeting it to weigh about 4 kg at harvest, although in, the, in reality, I can't get all the fish to be 4, 4 kg. Some are going to be way above 4 kg, while some are going to be way below. But when we take the average measurement, it will be 4 kg, 4.5. 
So that is what I'm doing here. It's a long-term investment that would take, the fish has spent about a month already, and I still have about 11 or 10 months to go, depending on how fast they are going to finish the budgeted fish food for them. So this is what I want to do on one pond, and I still have a lot of other ponds. At least this is one out of 35 ponds on the farm. So and these fish, they are still going to consume local feeds. But I'm still, right now, we are still using all these local brands with the big names. That is what we are still using now. And you see them. I feed my fish twice daily, once in the evening and once in the morning. And this is how I feed. I just give them food to their hokey. And my method is spot feeding. Can you see? They come and converge here for food. Anytime they are, they are okay, their agitation for food reduces and they withdraw. Once they start withdrawing, me too, I will withdraw the food. The reason why, the reason why I am employing this method is because a time will still come. Currently, I am feeding them with a floating fish food that when I pour it on the surface of the pond, it will be floating for them to eat. But naturally, catfish are bottom feeders. That is, they feed at the base of the pond. So a time will come that I will be switching to a sinking feed. That time, I will need my fish to gather to have a feeding spot so that when I switch to a sinking pellet, whatever I pour in the pond, they will lock, they will gather, and they will be able to eat it before it gets to the base of the pond. Even if it gets to the base of the pond, they will still go down there and eat it. So let me know in the comment section if you want to do exactly what I'm doing. If you have market for table-sized catfish in your area, if you feel like if you produce, you'll be able to sell it off because one thing is to farm, another thing is to be able to sell your product. So some people are just interested in farming. They don't look at how they are going to sell or the market that they've done the reason why I am targeting 4 kg fish is I want big fish, those sizes that we normally cut on the farm that we smoke or the ones that we use as the bone catfish. So that's the reason why I am targeting that size. And if you want to farm fish, you have to take into consideration that it is the market, it is the buyer that wants to buy from you that gets to determine what you will produce on your farm. I, I smoke fish and what I'm producing is exactly what I want. That is why I want to produce four kg on the average. So let me know in the comment section if you want to know the cost implication for producing four tons of catfish with average weight of four kilograms from just 1,000 pieces I breed. Maybe I will make a video about that in my next post. Thank you.